Hi guys, Serial Simmer here. Today we are going to be jumping back into our renovating base game with only base game. We are going to be renovating this house in Oasis Spring called Nookstone. Um, and this one is close to our last renovation that we did on Agave Abode. And same thing, I'm gonna kind of try and keep the shape of this house and then go through and um, only use base game to, to renovate it. Okay guys, so here is our before. This is um, the build that we're kind of working with. And um, yeah, of course this build did come out um, with the base game in 2014. So not only is there just like a lot about this build that is just old, um, but it really was not done well. <laughs> it wasn't done um, like they've been doing the builds now by great sim builders. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of work to do. Here is the back of the house. And if you look, we can see that there is no uh, roof or ceiling section on our porch area here. Okay, so with those few things said, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and see what it is that we can do for this house. So of course, one of the first things that I ended up doing was fixing the roof on this back porch. It was just like totally driving me crazy. So yeah, we go ahead and fix that first and then just go ahead and bulldoze pretty much all the furniture on the interior. I wasn't sure how much of the floor plan I was actually gonna keep. I knew that I wanted to keep sort of the idea of the floor plan with the living space right as you walk through the door, kind of to the left, and then on the right-hand side, as you walk through the door, kind of have the same couple bedrooms with a bathroom in the middle. I wanted it to feel similar to the original design, um, but yeah, renovated, updated. Um, and so I think I kind of achieved that. Um, but yeah, the process of getting there is always interesting. I definitely pull around a few walls and then put things back. I ended up, kind of squishing the house horizontally um, on either side. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna add bump outs to either side, but I ended up going for kind of a mid-century modern vibe with this house. And um, a lot of those houses actually have really straight um, sides to them. And so I didn't think it ended up looking that strange. Um, but yeah, I'm not really, that's not really my forte doing like a mid-century modern house. So I kind of struggled a little bit and especially of course with the roof, I'm learning so much doing these base game renos, um, about roofing in this game. There's so many like little weird, um, little weird things, you know, like just with any other part of the Sims, there's just weird, uh, little quirks that you have to deal with when you're making the roof. So yeah, I tried to go with sort of a flat roof here um, and then just add some dimension using the platforms, different heights of roof and things. Uh, and that was really interesting. I hardly, if ever, do kind of that mid-century modern vibe or a modern house with like a flat roof. I just like, it's just not something I'm really comfortable with. So I fiddle around a lot here. Um, hopefully you guys like the way that it turned out. I ended up being pretty happy with it. Um, and I was kind of looking up different reference pictures, nothing like very specific to this house, but like just of flat roofs in general so that I could kind of get an idea of what I wanted it to look like. And then um, after I sort of got the shape of how I wanted it to look, I went in and kind of added almost like trim detail basically just with um, some half walls here of different heights. Um, and that front piece there is supposed to be a chimney. Um, so I go ahead and add a taller half wall to that portion. And I really like the way that that looks. I think that it just gives like a nice dimension to the front of the house. And then, yeah, kind of just trying to figure out what color scheme will I need. I guess I knew what color scheme I wanted, but I wanted to add more dimension, I guess, another texture, um, to the house rather than just the siding and the brick. So I decided on some stucco um, as just another texture, another variation, I guess, in the, in the look of the house. Um, and then I'm trying to kind of hide those little ceiling pieces that are hanging out um, in like that front cantilevered piece right there. And then I guess it's not really cantilevered, but um, yeah, that little front piece right there really drives me crazy how you can see the ceiling. And then on the back porch as well, you can kind of see the ceiling. So I'm trying to hide that here with some, it's not, is it roof? Tr no, it's not roof trim. It's like floor trim or something, because I guess the roof technically counts as a room. Um, so it's like trim on the roof, but it's technically floor trim, I believe. Um, and then, yeah, just trying to figure out um, how I was going to separate this area in the front. Um, I didn't initially want to use columns because I didn't like that I couldn't drag it up into the roof line a little bit to kind of like make that transition more seamless. 
Um, but I couldn't figure out with base game any other like tricks and stuff. And I tried so many things. I even tried um, oven vents for a little while, but I didn't like the way that any of the base game ones looked um, raised up to cover that little spot there. And then if I did raise them up, then they would kind of like float off the ground as well. Anyways, so <laughs> we ended up just going with columns and deciding that I would just live with the um, slight weird transitions there. Uh, let me know if you guys have any ideas or uh, tips and tricks for how you guys might hide something like that. Those weird little glitchy spots or transition spots from the stucco to the siding there on like the front and then as well here on the back, I believe. And then just kind of trying to figure out layout. Layout for this house did come together pretty quickly because I kind of had the initial layout that I was trying to keep. Um, but I did make a few adjustments. Uh, this back room here, especially, I ended up bumping it out and making it even a little bit bigger. And honestly, this room and the primary room are pretty much the exact same size. So this house would be a really good house if you had like a couple of roommates that were living together. You could delete the children's stuff from that back room um, there and turn that into another primary bedroom. And then they could just share a bathroom. This would be a great house for a roommate situation like that. Um, this front room does have a fireplace in it because of the chimney on the front there. And initially that fireplace made me want to kind of change my entire layout and make that a living room or a living area. Um, but I decided that basically I just didn't like the solutions for the layout that I came up with. And I thought the rooms would, the bedrooms would have to be a little bit too small. I didn't like the idea of how small they would need to be on the other side of the house for me to fit sort of the living area on uh, this right side of the house. It would be a lot bigger of a living area, but I just didn't think it made that much sense. It didn't really work. So this is the floor plan that I ended up going with. Of course, you're welcome to download this house to change the floor plan if you'd like. Um, and if you do do that, I would love if you would re-upload it um, with the hashtag Serial Simmer so that I can see how you changed it, what you did to the reno. Um, I love being able to see different ways people do things. I think I say that in every one of these videos, but genuinely, I really love it. So yeah, with this house, I did end up going with kind of like a 70s vibe too, with like lots of like the dark wood, uh, the warm dark wood and these like, I just want to say 70s green. I can't really describe it any other way than that. It's not like olive green. It's like maybe like pistachio. It's like a dark pistachio green. <laughs> But I don't know. I always just call it 70s green. There's a lot of that in base game, um, which is interesting. It makes base game feel even more like retro, kind of even more old. Um, and yeah, and I'm just trying to figure out curtains for this bedroom here because there are so many windows in this bedroom. Um, I was trying to figure out a way to like make it look nice. And like if you were staying in this room with these massive windows, as amazing as the light would be in this room, you would still want privacy some of the time. So um, I did think that curtains and window coverings are pretty necessary in this room. I ended up deleting those blinds there that I just placed. Some in this primary bedroom do end up staying, but the blinds in the kids' room end up going away. And I keep just the curtains in that room for privacy, just for cost reasons. Um, it didn't end up working out quite as I had hoped. Um, that was one of the budget costs we had to cut, um, as well as this TV that I'm putting in right now. The TV doesn't end up staying, unfortunately. I always try to get like a computer or a TV in these builds, um, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Uh, this splurge in this build was the refrigerator. Uh, it's so hard for me not to splurge in the kitchen, you guys. Every single one of these builds that I do, I start with like a really nice kitchen and then as as I do the build, I have to kind of cut back costs. Um, this grill is another thing that ends up going away. <laughs> and again, I always think it's so funny because in real life, I just, I don't spend that much time cooking. I'm not really like, that's not one of my passions. It's not one of my interests. Um, I cook because I need to eat. <laughs> I don't cook because it's fun for me. Um, I would way rather like order out, but yeah. Um, I ended up doing kind of a galley style kitchen here and I'm um, putting a half wall right behind the couch. And um, I debated on whether to kind of pop that out one more tile wide, but I decided that if I did one more tile wide, it'd be too wide. Um, so I just left it like this. It's a little bit strange with the armchair kind of hanging out like that, but of course you could always kind of scooch the living area to the left a little bit if that really bothers you. Um, it didn't really bother me that much. Um, especially with, uh, we end up putting a, 
what's it called? Garbage can, trash can. Don't know why I couldn't think of that word. Um, at the end of that counter in the galley kitchen. And that kind of extends thing to be the, things to be the same length as the couch. Um, and so my eye didn't really go off. It wasn't really like bothered by um the couch arms sticking out there past the half wall. Um, and then in the bedrooms, I did do this green carpet. Okay. So I know I've talked about carpet on my channel before. So if you have watched videos where I've gone off on like a little bit of a rant about carpet, yes, I still think carpet is disgusting, but this house with the 70 vibes with the seventies vibes, excuse me, um, just was screaming green carpet to me. It needed green carpet. Um, I, I think I mentioned later in the video um, that I had a friend who grew up in like a really cool 70s style house and she had green carpet in like her living room. It was like green shag, 70s carpet, like so gross now when I think about it, but <laughs> we thought it was so fun. I don't know. It was like, it's like a, a good memory of that house, I guess. And so I really wanted to bring that into this house once I saw like how 70s it was turning out. I wanted to really like just go for it basically. And then, yeah, with the exterior, I didn't do a lot of landscaping, but I thought that it ended up blending in really well with the world. I didn't want to go through debug this time, guys, is basically what it came down to. Um, I was just really not feeling like spending another 30 minutes just kind of searching through debug for different plants and things. It does take a really long time to go through debug. I probably should get like better build by or something um, where it like sorts debug for you. Um, or maybe that's not better built by, I don't know. It's one of the mods by Twisted Mexi. But yeah, guys, we are just finishing up the build here with the landscaping, like I said, keeping costs down by not using um too much stuff. But I thought that the area outside of our actual lot here was really well landscaped and it blended really nicely, especially being in the desert. Um so yeah, this is kind of what I came up with. Why don't we go ahead and jump into the tour? Okay guys, so this is what I have come up with for our Nookstone renovation here. I actually really like it. Um, there is some weird clipping kind of around the uh, the front there with the columns. Um, gosh, everything in base game is also just so expensive. It's so frustrating because you're trying to make these like starter homes and it's, it's just, it's difficult. Um, but I kind of came up with this sort of like mid-century modern vibe. And actually, I seriously just love this house. So on the front here, we've got our um, chimney that's kind of providing some contrast from the stucco and the siding here. And then if we go inside, you'll see that we have like a really nice fresh coat of paint on everything. Nice white, bright interior, tons of natural light coming into this house. In fact, natural light is one of the lot traits that I did give this lot. I also gave it child's play because it's really well set up for a kid. I did splurge on this little toy here. That thing is so expensive, but I just thought it was so cute next to this helicopter pad um, on this sweet little playhouse here, which is sized down one, just so you know. There's an accent um, wall in the kids' room, as well as these cute little floating balloons. Did have the same curtains that were in the parents' room, or the blinds right here, but this one does have curtains um, sort of on this wall here, but I did have to cut costs. Um, and I was, again, having that weird bug where it wasn't showing me the price of the build as I was building. So I had to keep going out of um, build mode and into live mode. That must be some sort of glitch that's specific to the save that I have. So I don't really know. I'll have to like try to figure that out. I was hoping that with updates and things, it would sort of resolve itself, but it doesn't look like it has. So it'll be something that I need to try to figure out outside. We just have this concrete pad. Um, in the back here, very similar to the way that it was before. I just sort of changed up the columns. I added another one here and I made it just a little bit bigger. I did make the whole house horizontally. I made it smaller and then I bumped it out lengthwise by one. So it is um, a similar size. And then we have this little hidey area for our garbage can here. And if we go back inside the house, we have our galley style kitchen with a really big, beautiful window and then a small living area. I did initially have a um, a cheaper TV there, but um, came down to not being able to afford that. I did splurge again on our refrigerator. That's something that I just always feel like is such a worthwhile use of money. And it does look like as I'm doing this, I am realizing that I forgot a garbage can, but it's okay, it's okay. I have enough money. Leftover for that, we will just go grab this guy right here. 
and place our garbage can right there. And then yeah, check back into live mode. I do need to fix the lights as well, you guys. I'll do that as soon as I'm done giving you a tour. This is the primary bedroom here. I did go with sort of this mid-century vibe, this like very brown 70s um, green carpets. I had a friend who grew up in this really cool 70s home and they had green carpets. So I kind of wanted to bring that into this house. Um, but yeah, I imagine that they've like updated the walls and the paint color and stuff, but obviously I had to stick with some things. Um, like maybe this fireplace color is original and they just go ahead and they just went with it with their bedspread um, and just tied everything together. So yeah, this house has got a lot of that fun like 70s green color in it. And here we have our bathroom, which is really, really large um, and definitely has enough room for a double vanity eventually if you wanted to upgrade to that and a separate tub and shower situation going on. I do have a bookcase for The Sims to read for fun in the primary bedroom, sort of on the fireplace right there. And then, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this house. I did have the dining area outside as it is Oasis Springs and it's always nice weather. I thought this would be fun to sit out here and be able to look at the water. And I didn't use pretty much any debug landscaping. So when I go around the place, it is really sparsely landscaped. Thankfully we're in the desert, so I feel like we can kind of get away with that, but um, obviously I would have liked to do more with the landscaping, but I just didn't feel like going through um, debug today and spending so much time doing that. So if that's something that you are interested in buffing out and um, you know, you, maybe you take this, download it, and then you spend 20 minutes or whatever going through debug to find some more plants to kind of make things look a little bit more full and landscaped on the slot, then you definitely could do that. And like I said, I did have the light tra lot traits of child's play and natural light. You can go ahead and do whatever you want with those, but that's what I thought really fit this lot. So if you do go ahead and download this house and play in it, go ahead and re-upload it for me. Um, my EA ID is Serial Simmer. So if you just tag me in that, I'll be sure to see it and check it out. I love being able to see like what people do with builds that you make and how they change them and how they make them work for their family. Um, so yeah, I am excited to see what you guys do if you do do anything with this house. I definitely want to play in this house now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share this to the gallery, you guys, but thank you so much for watching. If you have made it all the way to this part in the video, be sure to click that like button down below and subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys!